Well, CNN is getting an exclusive look at a new power cell that could revolutionize the energy industry. CNNMoney.com's Poppy Harlow has our energy fix. Blacklight. The name conjures up a bad science fiction novel. But inside this laboratory, Dr. Randall Mills, who got his medical degree from Harvard, has toiled away for years on a new source of energy. A discovery, he says, on the scale of fire. We think this will be the replacement for fossil fuel, gas, nuclear, and other forms of energy. There's no uh, nuclear radiation and there's no CO2 emissions. So we've done that all on less than $60 million with uh, under uh, 30 people. The process uses water, a form of salt, and other common materials to create a chemical reaction they say is 200 times more powerful than gasoline or coal combustion. And it's cheap, estimated to cost one to two cents per kilowatt hour versus six to ten cents for coal or natural gas. The only problem, many scientists say the technology violates the basic laws of quantum physics. What we're seeing is a uh, significant burst of, uh, of heat. Blacklight hired engineering professor Peter Janssen of New Jersey's Rowan University to independently validate its claims. The astounding part of this is it's all coming out in about 15 to 20, 25 seconds. He is one of very few in the scientific community who is convinced that Blacklight is on to something. So are a growing number of Wall Street and business executives. Mexico's Estacado Energy, the first utility company to sign on, announcing today that it's licensing the blacklight process to engineer a power plant that could provide Tony electricity to 3,000 households and local businesses. Whoa, whoa, Poppy, Poppy, this almost <laughs> sounds too good to be true. When will this plant be up and running? <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Blacklight, the company itself says, listen, this will take at least five years of prototype you just saw. That's a 50 kilowatt thermal reactor. That's only enough to power a few homes. Of course, power companies want to see a prototype that will deliver a minimum of 250 kilowatts before they put that technology to work in their own plants. Blacklight says they'll have that by the end of next year. We'll see, Tony. Cool idea. It is. It really is. All right, Poppy, yeah. appreciate it. Thank you.